Welcome to this video about scripting in Blazor Server. This allows us to write code at runtime that is then also evaluated. So we are giving the user uh, an input field which he or he can type out their desired lambda and then this lambda is going to be get evaluated at runtime. So to make this all work, let's add a new get package. Just type out scripting and then it's this one here, code analysis, C sharp scripting. Microsoft at the beginning. So, and then let's just go into our fetch data component. In here, I'm going to import namespace, Microsoft code analysis, C sharp scripting. Now to enhance our example a bit so just that I don't forget it here I we are not going to generate only five weather forecasts but 50 define a lambda and then I define a function parameter weather forecast return type pool which will be filter then here I'm going to define the input field, style it with bootstrap, form control, and I bind it against our lambda. And then I also define a button, and when this button is clicked, our lambda is getting evaluated, and then you are filtering the weather forecasts accordingly. Here again, I'm using bootstrap, and then I have to wire it up with a, an event and a method. The method here will be asynchronous, and it will be called, uh, let's just say filter. Maybe it's not the best name, but because we don't have that much code, it won't matter. So here we are defining it. Filter now, we will have one parameter, string lambda, so that the lambda that we want to actually evaluate. And then here I have to define an object of type script options. Just quickly import this namespace. Now these options will uh, encapsulate all the references to the uh, assembly that our delegates uh, needs access to. And an assembly, there are different ways how you can get the, the current assembly. This is one of them. You could also write type of, then pause in type, and then assembly. Now here I'm setting filter, and here is the asynchronous method. That's why we have marked everything asynchronously. Await C sharp script, evaluate async, and here we have to define the type that we want the option to be to be yeah, changed to. And here, of course, we are passing in function, weather forecast, pool. And then last but not least, we have to call status change because we are in an asynchronous function uh, method. Otherwise, the UI wouldn't get uh, re-rendered. So oh, no. Here I have to pass the lambda. And now here the filtering is actually happening, happening here. Here I'm using the ternary operator. So if the filter is not null, forecasts. Now in this ver method, the ver method is expecting a filter thing. So it is expecting a method that has a weather forecast as a parameter and returns a bool. So exactly our filter delegate 
and if filter is null, uh, you have to use the question mark. And if filter is null, then we are just going to return the unfiltered forecast. So just to make it clear, uh, in here we are just storing the references. Oh. We are uh, storing the references to the assembly uh, that this delegate here needs access to. Yeah. So let's have a look. Now here we can type our lambda out. So let's just say summary contains an, an E and the temperature has to be greater than 10 degrees. Let's filter it. Now yeah, we have filtered the weather forecasts. So just to quickly resume, here we are using the scripting mechanism so we can type something out at runtime. And at runtime, this is getting compiled or uh, is getting changed to an actual lambda. And with this lambda, we can filter the weather forecasts. Now, just the last thing. In the title, and here we are using a Blazor server application. I have tried it using a Blazor WebAssembly one, and I think the the thing that is prohibiting us from using it in Blazor WebAssembly is this thing here with the script options and the references to the assemblies. But it could also very well be that I'm that uh, that it's another reason why we can't use it in Blazor WebAssembly. But in Blazor server, we can use it to yeah, dynamically evaluate our code. Thank you very much for your attention.